Hi, it's Ms. Parrott, and this video is about how to balance chemical equations. Chemical equations are made up of three parts. The reactants, or ingredients at the beginning, an arrow, which means yields, it's kind of like the equal sign for chemistry, and the products at the end, what's produced, what is made. In our example, we're going to be using nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas yields ammonia. So these are two gases, but when you put them together, they make a liquid. Step one to balancing equations is to draw a line under the arrow. We're going to do this to separate the reactant side from the product side. Step two, list the elements on each side of the arrow. N and H, N and H, and you've got the same here. Now, they don't always appear in the same order as you go across, but it helps to write the same element across from each other so you can see how they balance. Next, you're going to count the number of atoms on each side of the arrow. This is where our counting atoms using the ESC method helps us. Here we go. That's why we needed to do that. Um, the link to that video is in the description below. But what we do is we have list our elements and we multiply our subscript times the coefficient. So for n, our subscript is 2. Coefficient, remember if it's blank, that means 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Hydrogen, same. 2 times 1 is 2. Nitrogen, the subscript, it's blank, but that means it's actually 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. Now, we can see just by looking right across that neither the nitrogens or hydrogens are balanced in this equation. So we're going to need to do step 4, change the coefficients in front of each um, molecule until the number of each type of atom is equal on each side. So it's like we're adding molecules until we have the same number of atoms on each side. You want to keep track below to help remind yourself where you are and where you came from. So let's see. I can start with my nitrogens. I have two nitrogens here, but only one here. So I can add a two in front, and now I have two nitrogens. But hydrogens have also changed. Now I have two times three is six hydrogens. My hydrogens are now unbalanced, and so, or even more unbalanced than they were before. So what can I do in front of hydrogen that will balance 6 and 2. Well, 2 times what is 6? 2 times 3 is 6. So I can put 3 here. 3 times 2 is 6. And now my nitrogens and hydrogens are balanced in my atoms. I'm looking at my equation. It looks good. I've got a coefficient here, one here, and now wait, this is blank, but remember, a blank coefficient doesn't mean zero, it means one. So there's one nitrogen gas molecule. All right, that was our first simple example. Let's try another one. So there's no official way to go back and forth and, I mean, it's really kind of logic and reasoning, but pro tip, I would wait and do oxygens at the end because especially in more complex um, reactions, the oxygens can throw you off. So I've got here, I already did my line. Next is to list my elements. So I've got copper, copper oxide plus carbon yields copper plus carbon dioxide. So I'm going to do Cu, but I'm going to do C next and do O last. Um, that's just 
kind of a good habit to do. And I've got that on both sides. Now let's count. How many um, coppers are on this side? I've got two because of the subscript. Carbons, one. Oxygens, one. This side, I've got one copper, not negative one, that's impossible. Um, one carbon and my oxygens, I've got two of those. Okay, so my carbons are balanced, I'm all good there, but it's my oxygens and coppers that are off. So I could start with either one, I'm just gonna start with copper. So I've got two coppers here and one here. I'm gonna put a two right there and cross that off and make it two. And now my oxygens are still unbalanced. I've got two over here, one over here, so I can make this two as well. And now I've got two oxygens, but my coppers are now four. So I'm gonna have to undo something I did before. It's not really undoing, it's just like changing and using reasoning and moving forward. So you don't need to erase all of this, but what you can do is erase the coefficient here and make this four, cross that off, make that four, to see, am I balanced? I've got four coppers on each side, one carbon on each side, two oxygens on each side. And everything looks good in the equation. All right, so this is just a, an exercise in logic and reasoning, and it takes a lot of practice uh, to get really good at balancing chemical equations. But if you put the practice in, you're sure to do great.